Hey everybody, it's BC here, and welcome back to the Dyson Sphere program. I gotta admit, there's something I like about this art style, about uh, having a small planet so you can actually see the curvature of things and actually in the depth of field and stuff like that, but it's, it's actually really starting to grow on me. Uh, today, I want to do a few things, actually. As you can see, I have a whole bunch of research queued up. I have it paused right now so I can show you what I'm doing. Uh, processors, processors are almost getting unlocked. We're going to need the processors for the information matrix eventually. That's the purple one. So we'll be doing that. That's going to be completing soon. Uh, titanium smelting. Uh, it was mentioned about uh, looking for... Uh, let me get out of here. Uh, looking for gravel to find titanium. And I haven't been able to find gravel on this planet. Maybe I'm just not looking in the right places or anything like that. But I do have some titanium. I just need to smelt it. I don't really need it for much at the moment other than, the, other than maybe the hydrogen fuel cells, but not too worried about that at the moment. But obviously that's something I'm going to have to work on in the very near future. Uh, then next, after that, we've got uh, drone speed. So the drones actually gain 2 meters a second light speed, which is actually going to come in really handy. And then next is going to be Drive Engine 2, which means I should be able to go to other planets in this actual star system. And then we get into uh, polymer chem chemical engineering and high strength crystals, and then a few other things. And the reason why I got to get going into that is. Okay. I wasn't expecting that. Uh, but the reason why is I am getting really full on capacity on refined oil this is actually almost full so i gotta start processing this soon or i'm gonna stop start producing hydrogen but at the moment that's not a big issue uh, one thing you will notice if you didn't notice it already is i have a whole bunch of solar panels and a whole bunch of tesla towers in my inventory now i actually have a plan and i've been thinking about the power situation and you know accumulators are going to be a bit of a work but in theory since the North Pole here always has some sort of light. I wanted if a solar farm would actually work here. So I've gone ahead and I've made 100 solar panels. And I'm going to see what I can do here. Try to get as many down as I can. And uh, I'm going to hook them up to the grid. So let me do this and I'll bring you back with, with hopefully some good results. Okay, I am done. Another thing I actually forgot to do is unpause this research so it actually gets finished. So yeah, uh, by the looks of it, it looks like most of them are going to stay powered. There's a little section here that doesn't get powered at, at all times, but if I look over here, I'm generating 216 watt kilowatts there, I'm generating 130 there, generating 40 here. Processor unlocked, sweet. So this should be generating quite a bit of power. Let's actually throw a Tesla tower down and see if I can find out exactly what it's reading now. Uh, yeah, I like the little big blue dot on the map. I've been using that to find my way around too. If I go venture off on the map, I just look for the factories and I just have that on the northern side and then I just know I gotta walk north and I can find it. But let's put this here and see exactly what we're producing. 15 megawatts. Wow. It's actually pretty good. Alright, now I'm just going to hook it back into uh, the grid, and I need foundations. But that's fine, I made, ten, made a whole bunch of these. Hmm. I guess I had to go grab more foundations. And I'm out of fuel. <laughs> uh, do I have any fuel on me? Uh, huh, I can burn that, let's do that. Actually get that out. Oh, yeah, I'm crafting. Oh, God, I forgot about that. Am I crafting? No, I'm not. It just takes forever to recharge. I don't want to really... You know what? Since I'm going to be making some anyways, let's throw these in there. Oh, wow, that really generates a lot. Wait, all right, let's go and grab some foundations all the way over here. I was thinking about doubling up this container, but in stacks of a thousand, I don't think it really matters. Alright, now off to the wild blue yonder. I think, I think we got satisfactory beat on this one. Alright, let's uh, go here. Oh, I'm hitting the wrong buttons here. Alright, now, uh, 
We've come right across. Actually, it's right over here. I don't have enough dirt. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Now I do. Not quite. Perfect. Alright. Now. That should be all hooked up. Uh, I had to do that because I was noticing I was getting some brownouts throughout the day. Uh, let's see. Nice surplus. Now I shouldn't have to worry about losing power at night because technically it's always going to be night and day up there. Alright, with that being done, now we've got research going on. Uh, we got to start dealing with this. Uh, there's a couple of things actually we need to do. One of them is we got to start producing uh, electric motors, which are fairly simple. I do have everything over here to set that up, so we'll probably uh, get some assemblers going and start producing those in particular. Uh, we're going to need actually need those for these, which we need for the Mark II conveyors, which I do not have unlocked yet. I'm actually researching them right now, I believe. Okay, uh, anyway, uh, let me get this set up and maybe we'll get into that. I don't know, but I know I need that and the uh, Tier 1 conveyors for the Tier 2 conveyors. Uh, I also want to try to get this manufactured as well, so I might have to get some more silicone going. Anyway, I shall return. Okay, so I put placed on the chemical plant, got to make them plastic, and I gotta say, I actually like love the animation on this one. I can almost see it, like, almost see it making it. Anyway, so that is that. Uh, I do have to make some more more containers. Uh, research is still chugging along, so we should be good. Uh, hopefully, it holds up. I had to uh, branch off the. Oh, I need stone for that. I had to branch off the the research line for this, but hopefully, it holds up. If not, I can always go smelt down to more some more coal. But I need I need stone and I gotta make some more uh, containers. So I will be back when we're ready to move on. Okay, so I've got the electric motors up and running. Uh, the plastic is still going along. Let's fly down here, see how this is holding up. Uh, we have 120. Uh, this is filling up. That's gonna be my biggest issue. So uh, I'm thinking. As long as that graphite holds up, maybe I'll build another chemical plant. As we have to keep that... Keep... Oh god, don't tell me I crafted more than one. Oh, okay. Oh, I crafted an extra one by mistake, I think. Did I? No, I didn't, actually. Wow, what do you know? Alright, well, this is going to be fairly simple. We're going to dump this down here, flip it around so it's all going the same way, and... Uh... Yeah. And then another one I want to do too is I'm gonna get these uh, micro micro crystalline components being made. I need more silicone and copper for that, so I might have to get this other copper mines. Not a copper. Uh, more stone miners going. Yeah, so we can get, get more of that. Uh, maybe get into this too. Like I said, I need the logistics tier two for that. But in the meantime, we are currently working on drone uh, drone engine. The drone engine? Dive engine too, which means we can get off this rock and go somewhere else. Anyway, I'll be back. Okay, I am back. So I do have uh, these actually being produced at a moderately slow rate. Same with the motors. So we are good to go. Uh, the plastic is being double timed in here. I should probably put another storage container on that. Just because. I don't know what it's going to hold. A hundred stacks, so it's going to hold 3,000. Alright, well, uh, we do have some new research unlocked, so let's uh, go for a flight, shall we? Now, I did uh, have a look at the map already. Now, if I zoom out, now, not only can I see the resources on individual plants, on, uh, as you can see, there's no silicone or titanium here. That's why I'm making it silicone myself. But if I go out to different planets, I can see what it is. It's telling me it will, I will arrive there in one minute, five seconds by flight with the... the uh, uh, the solar sail and that's from the other end of the system so it's not too bad if I was if the planet was actually closer it would probably be a faster transfer uh, but as you can see this one is uh, planet lava it's a uh, an ocean lava type ocean I'm sure it's gonna damage me but I have seen geothermal power that is an option and there's this one here it doesn't have as much titanium on it it doesn't have the silicone I believe this one does but you know we can make it but here it's uh, it's not too bad for titanium. It's, it's some 
I know eight million is a sum, but it's it's not like the twenty million. But if you click on the star, it'll actually tell you everything about the entire system, which I thought was actually quite interesting. So if you're going to different stars, like for instance, you click on this one here, and it won't tell me anything because it's too far away for me to actually know what's there because it's in different parts of the universe. Anyway, uh, so yeah, let's uh, go for a little flight here. I gotta love that solar farm over there. It's actually doing really good. I was looking at uh, this Tesla tower here. Look at some producing 67 megawatts right now. Almost at the point where I think I could turn these things off. These are only generating like two megawatts a piece. I wanted, maybe we'll let's try that. Let's fly over here quickly. And can I actually turn these things off? No, that's not what I wanted. Yeah. Oh, that's the conveyor. Because these actually use power. I want to see if I can actually turn the power off on them. No. But I can set a filter. Anyway. Uh, let's go for a flight, shall we? Let's, uh... Actually. Let's probably load up on some coal before I go. I need fuel. Alright, uh, let's go to the map, zoom out, I should have just gone to the star map instead, and I am actually going to go ahead and that that is a target. Now is that actually going to show me? Oh, look at that. Gives me a straight line. Oh, it says hold spit. Oh! You can control the mecha, go to different planets or planetary systems by following the arrows in the space navigation. Hold down the shift key to accelerate. Back arrow key to slow down. You can also use the QR keys to hold down the right mouse button, dragging to sideward flight. That is really cool. So I guess I'm max acceleration right now. Apparently so. Now this is actually really cool. Of course it doesn't actually show a solar sail on me. But I do like the arrow saying go this way. Anyway, I'll be back in about a minute. Three minutes, actually. Or maybe less. Apparently, there, I don't know if there's a limit to the actual speed. But I can, as I, my power goes up, I can keep boosting further. Well, that's interesting. Anyway, I shall be back. So it seems 500 is not the limit. It keeps going. And there is the planet Lava. The lava planet, which looks really interesting, but we are almost there. Uh, I'm kind of wondering about braking. Is it like an auto brake, or do I have to actually stop or crash into the planet? Uh, I do know I do have durability on this suit, so let's try not to scratch the paint on the first day. Thank God it's not the first day. All right, we're coming in hot. Now it's supposed to be an arid desert. There was never any tutorial about actually stopping. Hmm. I guess I'll have to figure this one out. Uh, maybe fuel might actually help. Oh, I have fuel. Hmm. Alright, let me figure this out. Okay, here I am. And now... Okay, I don't know if I was supposed to do it that way, but I did. I'm gonna take any damage, so that is good. So here we are. Now, the question is, is where is that ore? That titanium. All on the other side of the planet. Let's see, stone, copper, there's a big titanium vein there. One thing I forgot to do is bring supplies to build power. I don't think I can actually build anything, can I? Uh, nope. Oh, I can make wind solar, or uh, wind turbines. Alright, uh, let me work my way over to a titanium vein and uh, do some mining. Okay, so I am set up here. I've got four miners running off of, uh, four smelters running off of two drills. Uh, 
So I'm just gonna grab whatever whatever titanium I have now. These are being wind, uh, wind powered. I got more than enough power, so these are gonna keep running until these are depleted or those containers are full. So with that being said, it's time to head back to our planet, wherever it may be, over there, and continue on with the research. I also want to start making some of these hydrogen fuel cells because uh, I was looking at the, the the chamber fuel thingy. Um, for instance, if I go into inventory, yes, I look at the coal. It'll tell me fuel fuel chamber generation zero percent, so it's not really generating too much. I did have some refined oil that was actually producing a little bit more, and then if I get into the fuel rods. Um, bring up this as you can see it's 200 percent uh i can also use oh i can't actually use oh that's sulfuric gas that's right but yeah uh, the refined oil will give me like 30 percent and hydrogen will give me 100 percent i think the crude oil gives me like 10 percent so i can really burn whatever i really need to if i need fuel anyways uh, as far as lining goes by the looks of it it's more than likely crash landing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a save and then we're going to test this theory. Game has been saved. Uh, I'm going to be out of fuel soon. Oh, we need more fuel so I can speed up. Oh, and I flew right by it. All right, let's try this again. Uh, why am I not turning around? Oh, yeah. Something like this. Yes. Do banks and stuff like that. Oh, yeah, that's right. It's R for this one. Anyway, I'll bring you back when I'm about to hit the planet, if I can ever get there. Alright, this should be a crash course. I'm trying to go by my yawn pitch to get a rough idea of how close I am going to be to it. We are not going to accelerate because we don't need to. We're just going to hit the atmosphere and see what happens. Uh, fly by. Of course, why is this so difficult? Alright, let's try it again. I'm hoping I can get it. Need fine controls here. Not seem to work too well. I'm sure there's an easier way of doing this, and I just don't know what I'm doing. But where would the fun be in? Where would the fun be in that? This should be it. Okay, so it doesn't actually crash you. And I, I actually end up hitting the ground as soon as I hit alt, so that's good to know. Anyway, uh, yeah, let me see what we're doing and we'll continue on. Okay, so I've got the fuel cells going. Uh, it's apparently using three titanium for two fuel cells, which isn't the end of the world, but considering how long these will actually last me, that'll actually do really good. Uh, I am currently burning off, or I was burning off some of the, some of the refined oil. But if I go ahead and throw these in there, I can see how long, how long it lasts. And it's actually doing quite a bit on my fuel, re uh, my energy regeneration. So that's going to be something I'm going to have to look forward to. But uh, with that, uh, we are still waiting on research. I don't know what else got unlocked. I think the next, see where we're going to go next here. Uh... Construction control. I'm not too worried about that. Let's get back into the technology, see what we have at our disposal. I am going to need that for this, which all leads to other stuff. Yeah, technical, I know. Uh, we will need these. We might as well queue up that. Uh, I'm saying that we need them for research eventually. And other things. Let's see, high speed assembly. Ooh, assembler mark two. 
do that? How expensive is that? Oh, processors. Okay, and we also got to get into this. So I'm actually working on those. Okay. Uh, we're going to have to unlock that because that's going to be unlocked eventually for other things. So we'll need that for the energy storage. Not that I actually need it on this planet anyways. For the time being. And then other than that, there's... Oh, that's a long way to go on that. Uh, I found out about the Prestige. I actually looked into it. The Prestige is New Game Plus. So as I'm playing the game, my, my first playthrough, I'm earning Prestige. That'll get added into the next playthrough. And I can actually use that presti Prestige to cover some of the research cost. So that's... It, it's something. Uh, but other than that, I think... I'm going to end up calling it here. Uh, it's going to have to be a lot more... A lot more mining, factory, factorization, automation. We'll have to probably have to go back to the planet eventually. Uh, but this is what I need those crystals for. It's for the next stage of research. Now, what, what do those actually cost? Hey, I got another row of inventory. Yay, thank you. Alright, so these... Our titanium. Oh god, we're gonna need a lot of titanium. Titanium and those crystals. I do have some crystals, but uh, where were those made? They were made somewhere in here. What to do with crystals? No, it wasn't those ones. These ones here. They're made in chemical factory. Yes. Need plastic, refined oil, and water. Well, at least it's going to take take care of the plastic and the refined oil that I'm producing, so that'll come in handy, but that'll be in the next one. So I think with that, we'll call it here. I thank you all so much for watching. hope you enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to leave me a like. And as always, I will see you in the next one. Later.